Today, I'm going to be talking to you about what every single successful person has done ever. So when I started first wanting to make money online, I was flittering between business and other businesses like drop shipping and print on demand and Amazon FBA and all these kind of like hot businesses that everyone's talking about, these quick ways to make money. I even did Forex for a little bit, right? I was trading on Forex on uh, MetaTrader 4 and I could never be consistent and just stick to one business and I could never actually put all of my effort into that business and I never found any success in any of those businesses that I tried. And when I was looking at other entrepreneurs online like Hamza and Iman Gadji, they all have something in common. And that is what I'm gonna teach you in today's video. It's kind of like mindset or method of working, I guess, that I pretty much think every single person who is successful on the whole planet pretty much does. Okay, so right now this is you, okay? This little circle here. And what you're doing right now is you're focusing your time and attention onto all of these little arrows here. Some arrows, more than others, you get the idea, okay? This is you putting your effort into various things in your life. So this one could be like your, your girlfriend, for example, or it could be your job, you know, like your nine to five that you work in. It could be like a YouTube channel like this, right? You could be working on a YouTube channel or something. You could be like video games, okay? You could be trying to like beat your high score or something on fucking... I don't know, I'm trying to think of a video game, like GTA or something, I don't know. You try to earn the most money in GTA, playing the new online update, whatever it is. It could be the gym, you know, like fitness, right? You try to improve your fitness. It could be your diet, okay? So you're over here trying to optimize your life for all these different things. You try to work on your sleep. And let's say you're trying to get better at reading as well. So you try to read more books, right? You're on self-improvement. You try to get better at all this stuff. So you, this is you doing all of these different things right now. And the length of the arrow is like the progress that you make in that thing, okay? So like the gym, for example, if you start putting a bunch of effort into the gym, right? So you're training super hard, you go in every day, you're doing really well, right? Being consistent. But then you notice that when you start working really hard on the gym, you start skipping on your diet and you start to like not be as bothered because you know you're training really hard. So you're like, oh, I can eat that cake, I can eat that pizza and all that kind of stuff. So you have all this stuff going on in your life. And I, this is exactly where I was about a year ago, right? When I was, even when I was running the YouTube channel, I was kind of doing all this different stuff. I was like really trying on the gym. I was really focusing on my diet and I was doing all these different things. I was even still playing video games occasionally. I had social media, right? Social media is a big one. I had a girlfriend, like still had my job, you know, I'm trying to read, trying to optimize my sleep. I was doing all of these different things. And now I'm about to tell you what the difference is between you and me and someone like Hamza or someone like Iman Gadji and what they do. And that's why I think they're so successful. This is where you want to be here, right? And this arrow is your business, okay? This arrow is your business. For me, this is YouTube, right? YouTube and all these other things in your life are gonna be these tiny arrows. You're not gonna put as much effort into them. Now, when you add up the sum of all these arrows, you're doing all of these different things in your life that take up time, they take up energy, and all of them, you can make a little bit of progress in each one, right? You can make a bit of progress in video games, you can make a little bit of progress at the gym, make a little bit of progress with your diet. But because you're doing so many different things, it becomes so difficult to put all the, your effort into just one thing. And what a lot of people like Iman Gadji have done, if you know who he is, they went through a period of their life and it might have lasted a year, it might have lasted six months. I know Hamza's lasted like a year where he moved back into his parents' house and he just grinded on YouTube. And he got rid of all of this other bullshit stuff, right? All of these other things, he got rid of them, right? And just focused on YouTube, right? He just focused on that. And that is what separates me and you and those people that we want to be like. So this is what I'm trying to do more of. Sacrificing a bunch of stuff in my life, going out with friends, playing video games. I've deleted social media. I'm sacrificing, you know, putting a, a ton of effort into the gym. Like I go to the gym now for like 45 minutes, but I could go for an hour and a half and I'd probably see more results, right? I'd, do, I'd be able to lift more weights. I'd be able to like, physically do more work at the gym and I'd see better results. But 
it would mean that I have less time to record videos. It would mean I have less time to edit videos. So business. All of these guys have gone through like a six month period where they've gone into kind of a monk mode. And this, this is kind of like monk mode, right? So that's what we're going to call it. And this is where you start cutting off things from your life that, are, you know, these smaller arrows that are not allowing you to make one big arrow. And when you start cutting off these arrows and just focusing on one thing and simplifying your life and streamlining it down to just focusing on one thing, that is how I think a lot of entrepreneurs that we look up to have managed to create successful businesses and managed to start making a lot of money online. This is exactly what Hamza did. This is exactly what Iman did. Now, this is really important. This looks boring, doesn't it? Like what, you don't get to have a girlfriend, you don't get to play video games, you don't get to go out and enjoy yourself. That's not the case, right? This is only for maybe six months, right? Maybe six months, maybe a year while you grow the business. And then once you've grown it and you've put, you know, lowered these arrows down so you can make this one big arrow and make a lot of progress in one thing, you can then go back and have a different period of your life where you maybe enjoy yourself more and go out and make memories, go traveling and focus maybe a bit more on the gym and a bit less on the business. And I think that is something that Iman talks about that he does. He goes through like half the year for six months where he just eats meat only. He doesn't worry about his diet too much. Like, you know, having fancy food and eating nice food. He just like, just eats meat. Super simple. Like go to the gym for uh, as efficient as possible. Super simple. And then he just focuses on his business. And he does that for six months. And then after that, he goes and lowers this arrow down and starts expanding on some of these other arrows, right? He goes out and meets people. He goes out partying. He goes traveling. He goes clubbing, does all this stuff, right? All this stuff that if he did normally, he wouldn't be able to focus on his business as much. What are some things that you can sacrifice in your life? And the things I can tell you straight away that you can sacrifice are video games, right? Pointless stuff that's adding to those arrows that we talked about at the beginning, the arrows on your kind of like tree. Like one of them will be video games. One of them will be social media. So I deleted social media about 12 months ago, now, nearly 12 months ago. So I've not had social media for about a year. And that is a huge arrow. Can you imagine if you're spending two to three hours a day on TikTok, scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram, imagine the size of that arrow on the tree of like stuff that you're doing in the day, right? If that was like time, imagine the size of the arrow that would be generated from you spending two to three hours a day on social media. So that's one thing you can get rid of. Video games you can get rid of. We all knew it was coming. Get rid of it spending too much time on it. Even though you say, oh, it only takes me 20 minutes or something, right? It's the brain power, right? The arrows on that tree, you know, this tree over here, these arrows aren't just time dedicated in the day. It's energy, right? It's energy. And this takes up a lot of energy. So we need to lower these arrows that are taking up energy so that we can create something that looks more like like this, where one of the arrows is really big, where you put most of your time and attention into that one thing, okay? So what's some of the things you can cut off? Cooking, obviously, take that off, right? If you need to cook, just keep it super simple and super easy, right? When I cook, I just cook like like steak and eggs. I don't make any fancy meals. So that takes up way less time, way less energy. The gym, you're spending too long at the gym, right? Can you cut down the gym sessions? Going out, right? Drinking alcohol with your friends, okay? It's fun, right? I do it, but I've had to cut down on it because it takes up a lot of energy. It takes up a lot of time, right? You could be spending that time working on your business, working on your YouTube channel, working on whatever it is that you do, right? Dropshipping, whatever it is that you're doing right now. You just need to think what arrows can you take off this so that these are some things that you can sacrifice, right? That you can make to get your tree a bit more like this. You can put way more effort into the thing that is actually gonna move the needle for you and actually get you to that level of success that you wanna get to. This is what Hamza did. It's what Jack Hopkins did. It's what Iman Gadji did, right? For six months or 12 months, they just cut out everything and focused in on one thing got the business up and running, got to a good level, and then, you know, eased off a bit, in incorporated a few more things into the life, and then maybe went back onto it. And this is basically just monk mode, right? So that is pretty much it. Hope you got some value out of that video, mate. Hope it helped you in any way. And uh, yeah, hope it made sense as well. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, bro. Keep improving yourself every day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.